All right, soil fam. So the temperatures have cooled off. So I'm gonna work on breeding these two beauties. See how many babies we can get. So I try to let them get at least five fall offs and then I'll put her back in here with him later this evening. Um, hopefully in 30 days or so, give or take a few days, we'll have some babies. So we'll see, we'll keep our eye on her, um, see if we can palpate her and see in about 10 days or so if we got any babies. So it's better to breed them when it's cool. And you know, so we don't really breed our rabbits until the fall and the winter. Cause it's just extremely too hot here in the spring and summer. So this is a fall off. Yep, there we go. That's fall off number three. <laughs> so we'll get two more of those and then we'll give them a break and give her a break and let her go home and then like I said we'll bring her back um a little later about eight hours or so um so y'all I'm always so excited when babies are in the picture whether they are human babies or animal babies like always so excited I have an incubator full of chicken eggs because we need to update, I guess you call it, update our um, flock, our girls. So we went to a friend's, picked up some eggs, and we got them in the incubator. Some of those eggs are huge, huge. I'm going to show you. But, of course, I'm going to take y'all on that journey with us. But somebody might be pregnant. Is it me? I got bread in my pocket. Is it me? <laughs> no. Ain't no babies here, but babies, rabbits. What, do you have a favorite baby? Chickens, rabbit, quail, donkeys? I don't know. I ain't seen nobody birth a donkey yet. Hmm. Elephants, um, cubs, koala bears, what, horse? <laughs> something more that make more sense for us a horse or a goat what what is your favorite baby babies are so exciting it's so cute so we breed our girl what's her name let's talk about that too so we let this fine young thing hang out with her boyfriend a couple days so we hoping we got some babies there um it has been eight days. So Monday will be 10 days. So Monday we will palpate her and see if we can fill any babies. I'm gonna take y'all along with me on that, but you know, look at him. He like, hey little mama, what you over there doing? She said, I'm full of babies, sucker. <laughs> but they are doing great. Um, I don't know, I like the name Grady and Gracie. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. What are we going to call them? I, I Honestly, I love the name Grady for him and the name Gracie for her. They are gorgeous and huge. But, y'all, I don't know what should we call them. Oh, my God. Maybe Gracie. She like, I don't know what you're going to call me, but look at that waddle. So cute. So y'all know I'm always excited when it comes to new babies. <laughs> I like to try to show y'all. Look, I try to show y'all the birth, not the babies after they born. I want y'all in the delivery room with us when these babies are born because not only do they need their hand held. I mean, they don't. They have babies. They do good. But I need my hand held because I be anxious. I'm an anxious grandma. 
and I want to see the babies. So we got about 20 days. Rabbits um usually pregnant around 30-ish days. So I breed her on the 28th and the 29th for two days. They got their fall offs. She had fun. He had a ball and kicked that girl out and she went on home. And now she got those babies brewing. Let's hope and pray. It's a lot of them. We want a lot of babies. But um, and let's hope and pray I catch this birth for y'all. Because you know I did catch a rabbit birth one time before. And I was freaking out. I was freaking out. I don't know what's up with my hair. But it ain't making me happy. I was freaked out, y'all. The first time one of our rabbits had babies. I called the itty bitty homestead committee and I was like, girl, like this rabbit spitting babies out on the wire and my husband at work. What am I supposed to do? She was like, calm down. Calm down. He got this. Oh, and I was scared to touch him. Oh, God. All that blood. I was like, girl, what are you doing? And she was sitting on him and I was like, oh, but it was a beautiful experience. The gift of life. The gift of life. Babies. So. I'm in baby heaven right now. I just want all the babies. I want all the chickens to hatch and be happy so I can spoil them in the house for a couple weeks. Tell my husband, kick them out. I want all the rabbits to be so cute and a whole bunch of them so I can pick them up every day and play with them because that's what I do. But I'm going to take y'all on that journey and show you how we raise our rabbits. I touch my babies all the time. Those rabbits, I come out here and I hold them and I'll show you you know for a few days I will show you these steps I come out here I hold them I let them get used to me I check them make sure they eat and I give them back to mama but we ain't there yet right now we in pregnancy mode so let's coach this mama through her pregnancy and pray for a safe and speedy delivery <laughs> so how many babies you think she gonna have? Is that a good question now? We still trying to figure out a name. I think Grady and Gracie. But maybe next video. When we talk, we're gonna check her. We'll palpate her in a few days and we'll see what's going on then. So make sure you come back so you can keep up with Miss Gracie. Is that her name? Gracie Black? Grady Black? I don't know. We got Lala Black. We got Thumper Black. We with Thumper back there. This is Tux Black at Black Tropical Homestead. So stick around so we can see the birth of these babies. And we'll play some games. How many you think she gonna have? And how many boys? And how many girls? What day do you think she gonna have them? So I'll pulpate her on Monday and you'll see that in a few days and then we'll start playing some guessing games. That is always fun. Some guessing game. And then when she have the babies, I always go through this thing. Who I'm going to keep? Which one I'm going to keep? Bobby be like, look, what are you doing? So, let me finish feeding these babies. And, um, go in the house and find something to play with. <laughs> I've been playing with a lot of soap, y'all. A lot of soap. Look at her. Ain't she beautiful? <laughs> She's like, mm-hmm, I'm beautiful, I. Right. I don't know, something about the name Gracie. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Are we gonna call this sexy, big sexy thing here Gracie? Macy Gracie? I like Gracie. So y'all, this is Tux. Tux got out one night and was hanging out. But he was looking, oh, sorry, I dumped the crumbs on you. He was looking like, look, put me up. So these are great for when you're traveling and um, gonna be gone for a couple days. I can fill this thing up and I don't worry about him running out of food or water. Um, for a while. Actually, this will last um, if I fill it up. If I fill this feeder up, it'll probably last him a week and a half. And his water lasts him a good 
two weeks or so. So right now he's like, look, give me my give me my bow, my bow. Who back, boy? He is so sweet, y'all. He is so sweet. <laughs> this is Tux. He's your boy. That's Lala's boy. So, if you don't know me by now, I like doing stuff. I just like doing stuff. Right, boy? Huh? So, when I wake up in the morning, I usually have... Look, that's my shadow. I usually have... An agenda like I know what I'm doing I know what I want to do I know what I need to do I always have a what I need to do um, list but then it's like a bunch of things that I want to do my husband say I'm, I can't multitask I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> you know but I always I like doing stuff as the day go on I'm always like oh well, let me do this oh well let me do that and I look around and I'm like Maybe I should do that. So I'm sure he back there searching for rabbit food because that's what this bag is. That's rabbit food. And I just dump it because those bags are heavy. And tell Bobby take it around back. I just dump it from there. If I drop one or two, who come looking for it? Thor. What's up, boy? You coming to say hello? Huh? You? Yeah. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. You want to give me five? You want to give me both? Oh, this is sweet, boy. Is that sweet boy? Is he is? Yeah. Oh, look at that big boy. Oh my goodness. Booty girl, get mad. Booty girl, get mad, mama. Okay, go. 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 Don't jump on me. You're too big. Go. What did you do? You did it. Anyhow, let's go do some stuff. to the stuff that I like to do. <laughs> we need to cut soap. Um, honey, turmeric, banana soap. We got a slab of soap that we need to go ahead and cut and get into bars so my husband can stamp it and I can put it on the carrying rack. But like, this is what we want to get to. Cured soap that is ready to ship out. So this is an order. Mm. So tell me in the comments, have you ordered soap from us? What do you think about the scent? We need to name our scent too. We tried to go with something tropically. We had to mix and play with um, essential oils to get this perfect scent. It's very mild and light, but it's beautiful. And to me, it speaks to, it says, <laughs> but this is it after I sealed it up I just need to put a label on the back which I haven't done yet and I will shortly because this order is about to go out and oh my god yo, shampoo ginger orders for days tons and tons of orders these are receipts from the post office from all the orders, which is a blessing because without y'all, our small business does not survive. So thank y'all for supporting us and ordering so much all the time. Freeze dried goodies, soap, honey, plants when we have them. So enough babbling, let's cut some soap. Oh, 
All right, here we are. <laughs> Two days later, I forgot to record when we was getting ready to cut, but we already cut this big block into loads. This is just the piece we gotta we gonna keep, but we cut them all, so we got five loads, and we gonna cut them, and my husband gonna cut them into bars. So we'll show you that when it's done. This is the inside. Right, soil fam so we have cut our soap finally <laughs> and now Bobby has stamped it all look at that I always say no two soaps will be the same all this is from the same slab Honey, turmeric, banana. Moving right along, moving right along. So this will go to the curing rack. <laughs> to the curing rack for a few weeks. I love how the colors are just, look at that. Look at this color. This is the same slab of soap. I'm going to pull one from back here. Look at that. Then look at this one. Same slab. They just do their own thing. Beautiful. And the benefits are even better. Alright y'all, so, <laughs> I woke up this morning and I ain't gonna say old man winter, but fall is here and winter is coming. So, <laughs> I was like, let me stop playing and make sure we straight. I need to make us some cough drop. I need to make us some cough drops. So I got all of my ingredients, my honey, my cinnamon, I got a lemon and ginger. We're gonna make some cough drops and something I'm missing. I like using a little syringe. I don't know why, cause I can use a spoon. But let's make some cough drops right quick. Then we're gonna go outside and check. What's her name? Did y'all tell me? Gracie, I don't know. We're gonna check our girl and see if we got some babies, if I can feel some babies in there. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. Where did they come from? It's not cold, cold, but it's cool out there. So you know, and then it'll be like 85 degrees later. And then we'll be coughing and <clears throat> clearing our throat. So that's why I'm making cough drops now. And you can make them too. Easy. These simple ingredients. Ginger, honey, I mean, that's a lemon. Honey, cinnamon. Let's go to the stove. 
All right, y'all, I got this thing on high. <laughs> I'm going to use a half a cup of honey to start with. I'm put this over here because I want all of this honey to drain. <clears throat> Um, as far as my lemon, I'm just gonna squeeze some. I think I'm I probably I'm gonna say about two teaspoons of lemon juice, and I'm just squeezing it directly in my pan. That's good. Cinnamon. We'll sprinkle some, maybe one teaspoon ish. You know, we don't we sprinkle until our ancestors say that's enough. Same thing with my ginger. Now you know ginger is a little hot. A little spicy. So I'm on. Grate a little bit in there. There you go right there. We want that in there. So I'm going to say about a, a teaspoon of ginger. I'm going to grab my whisk. And I'm going to assume my honey is good. What didn't leak on the side. <laughs> I'm going to whisk it all together and let it um, boil. So what I'll do is, whisk it together good. ginger all in all over the place then I'll lift it off the heat let it calm down some give it a few seconds to settle off the heat like that I'm gonna put it back on the heat I'm going to do this like four times. Take it off, put it back on. Help evaporate some of that moisture out of it. Because um, you want it to thicken up. Let it come to a bowl. it up let it calm down so I'll do this like four times four or five times do it again Now, some people use sugar. <clears throat> use sugar. I prefer not to use sugar, but, you know, this is not the junk in the stores. A few simple ingredients at home, and you got cough drops. All right. So, this is going to be the last time. Turn my heat off. I'm 
and we're gonna go back over to our parchment paper. I like using these. I keep these um, from the injector, the Creole injectors. I like using this because I can almost get a perfect dot or, you know, a perfect drop. I do let this cool a little bit before I pour it in. Because it'll drop better. So let me show you if I do it now. Let me get my. Something to pull at the bottom, and of course, you gotta pour it carefully if you're gonna do it this way. But you can just use a spoon. Okay, so I just poured some in there, and you don't even want to press it yet. I'm just gonna get it ready. As soon as you press it, it's going to start. You just want to make drops. You can get silicone molds or whatever. We pretty much using what we have. You can make your drops as big, as small as you want. Oops. That's what Bobby says. Um, coffee drop. So it's thickening up now, which is where I like it. You can make them small for, for kids. You know, however big you want to make them. be looking at you like well what is she doing no sugar added And then I'll let these sit, you know, until they um, solid up. You can take some powdered sugar and sprinkle so that they won't stick together. However, all right. So I'll let this sit a while and harden up. Until then, I'm gonna show you some I already have done. These are already ready. Perfect little pop rock.